What's going on people? It's been a while. Um, this week, I yesterday finished four day exam I was doing for CCTV course. I've already got my door supervision license, which I've already had jobs with before. But I've been thinking about doing the CCTV for a while. Um, and I haven't officially got my results yet, but they, they basically said to us yesterday that we had passed. We just got to wait for the uh, certificate to come through. So I just wanted to do this today because it's been a while since I've spoke to you guys. And I wanted to do it to just lift you up a bit if you're struggling at the moment. Like I ain't been working for a while, so I ain't had no money. And I still haven't until I get a job. But it's because of the lockdown and that, like, I'm very stubborn and I'm like I'm not going to work wearing a mask because I don't believe in it it goes against what I believe in you're suffocating yourself over an extended period of time so it's difficult with that because I, I don't want to go and work wearing a mask so that is a difficult situation but I'm hoping that I will get a job at some point where I don't have to wear one because yeah, like, we've all got rights, and I'm not wearing a mask, so I do it to go in a shop or whatever, but not while I'm working and taking a piss. So, I got my CCTV license, basically, and it's basically giving me more options going forward now. Like, there's more strings to my bow. I'm going to be doing a first aid course at some point, and I'm going to be getting a handcuff license as well. Just to give me more options, guys, and this is what you have to kind of try and do in whatever your career is and your passion you have to try and like stack things up like think of like a pile of books or something and you stack it up and then you've got more like knowledge or whatever you have to do that practically within your skill set as well so that's what i'm trying to do right now as i said i've passed my cctv course license now which is is great because the door supervision license is good but it does limit you because you can go and do like security guard jobs but the people in the, the, the door work a lot of them are just knuckleheads they are cleaning it up like it's not like it used to be but I still experienced it a bit with people like it's a popularity contest instead of actually just what you can do with how you talk to people and using your brain but there's still a lot of knuckleheads in that so with the CCTV side of it, you have to use your brain because you, you're you monitoring people on a computer and, do you know what I mean? You, it's not about being a brunt force and, and being physical with people. You're still helping people, but you're doing it via your brain, what you see and, and how you can help and, and prevent things from happening as well, which I think I'm better at anyway, so... It's given me another option going forward but I wanted to do this to lift you guys up today because I know that there'll be some of you that are in similar situations to me no money no job but I now have that option once I get my license I can then go out and apply so the options are there for me they're opening up more but I had to put the work in guys I was nervous on the course but I passed it and I got my my other license first time as well so all these things guys it's not always going to be easy but stick at it keep grinding and things will start opening up for you a bit fresh this morning but i ain't done one of these for ages so i wanted to come on and speak to you guys but yeah man just just try and believe in yourself man i know it's not easy but when you're in a rut and you're stuck somewhere you have to take that first step to want to get out of it I'm still going through that process, but now I said I've got more options. It's opening up more for me now, so you have to put the work in. And it's an everyday thing, guys. You can always grow and get better at it, so hope you're all well. Um, hopefully, I'll be back speaking to you guys sooner rather than later. I haven't been going on walks that much, to be honest, so that's partly the reason why I ain't done one of these for a while, but... I needed to get out today, clear my mind a bit, release a bit, because I've been indoors a lot and I was stressing over that course because I knew I could pass it, but 
it was a ton of information on the first two days, like just showered at you. And you're like, how am I going to remember all this? But like I said, I haven't officially got my results, but they basically said to all of us that they were over the moon with us. And so I've got to go and get my license. Well, I've got to go to the post office next week, they said. But I've, in turn, I've got to dip into my savings and pay for the actual license because even when you pass you don't get the license for free you have to then pay on top of the course payments and which I had to do with the other course it's just a, it does it, it cost you a bit but once you get your license and that like they can't take that away from you unless you do something within your job that like you'll get they'll take your license off of you basically if you're doing your job wrong but if you stay within the guidelines and do what you learn on your training and what you get taught on on the job you're fine guys and they can't take it away from you so just just try and create options for yourself guys I know it's not always easy look I'm not a social like person I got like social anxiety and this job is going to be a challenge in that as well because even though I did it before in like clubs and and bars and stuff this is going to be a whole new territory because I now have to be on the phone to people like the police and ambulance and all sorts of people which I spoke to you before on one of these that talking to people on the phone has always been a massive anxiety for me so this is going to force me to have to do that in my job once I get to be a CCTV operator because I'm going to be a point of call do you know what I mean to the police and when things are happening incidents like I've got to be the one that's calling the police or calling like terrorist agencies or whatever it whatever it it um what's the word i can't think of the word but whatever my job is gonna ask me to do do you know what i mean i have to do that to do my job to the best of my ability so it's gonna force me to do that it's gonna be a learning curve because it takes you a while to settle in when you go to these places and that's natural um but the ultimate message of this today, guys, I'm not trying to show off or nothing. I hope it's not coming across like that. I'm doing this today because before I did the course, yes, I had my door license, but I haven't been working. I haven't been getting paid. I'm still not at the moment. But I now have the option. Once I get my license for the CCTV, I can then go and apply for a job. Do you know what I mean? It's just a mask thing that's concerning me because I don't want to be sat somewhere wearing a mask and that do you know what I mean I'm, I'm not for that so it's going to be interesting to see what happens but um I'm not getting furlough no more so I'm in the same boat as the people that watch this and have got no money right now I'm in the same boat I might have options but until I get a job I ain't getting paid so but this is to just try and lift you up today guys keep pushing keep grinding whatever it is your passion Maybe you're in a job and you want to step up like to on the career ladder and whatever your job is. Do what you need to do to get there. It's not going to be easy, but stick at it. Even if you fail the first few times, keep coming back until you pass it and you'll get there. It's like driving a car. Now, I didn't pass my driving test till the third time I did my test. Theory. Passed my theory every time I did it, but then I'd fail on the, on the practical side of it. And the third time passed my theory first time again and I passed the practical on the third time so even if you fail numerous times guys whatever you're doing keep at it because you're going to get it at some point just you've got to keep faith and keep believing if it's something you want strongly enough you've got to keep at it because you will get to it but keep faith man hope this helps guys I'll speak to you soon